I like this question and I don't like this question. And the reason why, it's like the same question, what are you into? Or what are you, or not what are you into, um, what are you looking for question? Because somebody can try to use this, if you're talking to a narcissist or somebody who would just try to like, oh, I'm just trying to win you over, they can use this against you. But, welcome to another episode of Nerdy Dating. I'm your host, Ali Zaka, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about dating questions, questions to ask on a date. And I was going to go ahead and give examples of questions, like what I think a good question is, but then I thought for myself, and I was like, maybe I should go find questions online and see what the internet cognoscenti is giving you guys on questions for dating on a, on a date with somebody. And I found one from the Women's Health Magazine, which this is from... Jasmine Gomez and Lindsay Geller, the published in 2019, I'm sorry, 2021, October 19, 2021, which is fitting because it's September, October around the corner, fall season, we're in it, date season. But what questions, dating questions to ask. So I'm gonna rank, they had 250 on this article. I'm not gonna do the full 250 questions, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some ideas on the question they asked and pretty much go from there like, okay, this is a good, medium, or bad question to ask on a date and explain why. And this is be from my perspective, of course, because I don't have a guess on this episode. So let's go ahead and open up a question one. What's your favorite way to spend a day off? This is actually a good question to ask somebody. And the reason why can you get to learn about what they like to do for fun, what they like to do in their time off, how they spend a relaxation time. This is actually a good question to ask somebody. So I'll put this in the good category. Um, what to ask because you can learn real quick like oh I like to sit down and read books or I like to spend time with my family I like to do XYZ play video games watch anime go to the movies go to the park go work out like, you get to learn things about somebody what they like to do on the day off it's like how they like to spend their day off it's a good way to ask somebody to see what their what their extracurricular after curricular activities are what they like to do for their leisure time question two what type of music are you into this question can can be a good question. I put it more medium because it doesn't really. It's like what kind of music you listen to, and the person give you an answer like, "Well, I like to listen to all types of music." Okay, well that doesn't let me know. Like, listen to country, like listen to alternative, like listen to rap, hip hop, R and B. Like to listen to you know dubstep. Like to listen to EDM. Like it doesn't give you you know a big question you need to break it down like okay well like listen to rap and hip-hop well who's your are you like listening to like listen to B.O.B. do you like listen to Kendrick Lamar you like listen to J. Cole like listen to you know Run DMC like X, Y, and Z like who do you like listening to so it's a more of a medium question like what kind of music you into versus you know what specific genre of music like what favorite artist do you have because like I also like listening to instrumentals and video game music so that's the kind of music I'm into so just all kinds of genre and I can usually I can usually deal with or listen to now I can tell you what I'm not really into versus what I'm into that's more of a medium question number three what's the best vacation you ever took and why now the and why just changes to a good question because we can figure out what person's into what kind of vacation where they want to go what they did and then what they did on that vacation and why they had such a good time with that that's a good question Where's the next place on your travel bucket list and why? The and why always changes from medium to good because you get breaking down and figure out exactly what the person's into, what reasons behind it. It opens up more, it's more open-ended question versus just a, oh, my next my next place on my travel list is Japan. Well, why? Oh, because I you know I like Jap Japanese culture. I like the history with the samurai, the technology over there with the video games and, and the drawing and art style and manga and anime like there's so much over there I would definitely like love to explore it and see exactly what's going on and then on top of that the environment and nature and the mountains and the beaches and all those things in Japan so those like cool things that I would like to go and see Japan for what are your hobbies number five what are your hobbies and how did you get into them this is another good question can you now you learn what somebody likes to do for fun or do as you know to relax and kick back whatever they like to do, what their hobbies are, and then how they get into them. Now you figure out a little backstory behind them as well. You get a little story with that. That's a great question, actually. 
What was your favorite number six? What was your favorite age growing up? That's an interesting question to ask somebody. I think it's a good question. You get to learn about where you're at. Like, what's your favorite age growing up? Like, was it 16, 17, 18? I don't think I can answer that question. Somebody asked me that question, I'm like, I don't know. My ages all run together. I can tell you about times, but it all runs together. What was the last thing you read? This is a medium question because somebody can just give you like a blanket. Like the last thing I read was One Piece. And then you can ask why or what, what's One Piece. You can break it off a question. You can start a question opener, but it's also a, a closed question. Number eight, what would you say, or would you say you're more of an extrovert or introvert? This is also one of those questions that it's, it's good. It's a good question to ask. You to learn if somebody considers an extrovert or introvert, so you get to learn more about them. So I think this is a good question because if you're an extrovert, you're looking for another extrovert, this right here might be a little more of a tougher, you know, you can learn about somebody real quick when they say that. So that's a good question. Number nine, what's your favorite ice cream topping? This is just a fun, light question. It's a medium question because it can branch out depending on what, what somebody's into. I like chocolate, I like strawberry, but it's just a little jokey question there. 10, what was the last TV show you binge watch? It's okay question. Not bad, just okay. Binge watch, you guess you can learn what kind of shows they're into, so. But the last show you binge watch, you might not say what kind of show you're into. Like the last show I binge watch, it's The Boys, which I guess I'm into action superheroes. So, but as far as like if I'm gonna go to pick a show, I might go pick you know, Demon Slayer over The Boys. So, eleven. Are you into podcasts or do you only listen to music? So this is learning about somebody if they're into podcasts or music. This is seeing what people like to listen to, what they do in their spare time. Like when I drive, I like to listen to more podcasts versus music, just per se. So when people ask about music choices, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, like these, like these songs, but music's not the first thing I'm putting on when I get on the road. It's, I'm actually looking for a podcast to listen to. So that's, that's probably a medium question there. Do you have a favorite holiday? Why or why not? This changes to good. So favorite holiday was like, medium, maybe a bad to medium question because they can say, I don't have a favorite holiday. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, you know, Christmas. Okay. But when you add in why right now, it jumps from like bad to like a good question because then it opens the door. It's like, oh, what's your favorite holiday? If you don't have one, what's what's up with that? You know, what kind of open up the, at the door for you and have more conversation and branch into other things. 13. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? This is more of a playful question. I'll say it was okay. But like the same time, there's never really else you can branch out. Somebody can give you like, oh, spaghetti. And not elaborate more on that one. 14. Do you like going to the movies or prefer watching movies at home? And if you're a movie buff, this would be a question for somebody you want to ask somebody because you want to like do you want to be in the theaters or do you want to see it at home? Like how you like you know how you like going to the movies? It's more of a medium question, I would say. What's your favorite sleeping position? Oh, that's a good one. Never thought about that one. On your back, on your side, curled up into a ball. Hmm. Fun question. What's your go-to guilty pleasure? This is a, a good question. Can you let the learn something a little more deeper question to learn about somebody's guilty pleasure? That's a good question. 17. In the summer, would you rather go to the beach or camping? So you can learn about somebody's a beach person or a camping person. I'll be more like, let's go to the beach versus camping, but I won't turn down camping. So that's a good, medium to good question. 18. What's your favorite book, favorite quote from a TV show, movie, or book? This can get deep with somebody or somebody can just give you a basic like I'm ready. I just quoted Spongebob by looking like you just quoted Spongebob or it's like I already don't know what my favorite quote would be but this is a medium question I would say. How old were you when you had your first celebrity crush and who was it? This is just a fun fun question just to have a conversation going and just open it up just to see what somebody's like who the celebrity crush was. It's a fun conversation, nothing really too deep, just medium. 20, 
What's one thing that you can instantly make you make your day better? Hmm. What's one thing that can instantly make your day better? I like this question. I don't like this question. And the reason why it's like the same question, what are you into? Or what are you, or not what are you into, um, what are you looking for a question? Because somebody can try to use this, and you're talking to a narcissist or somebody who would just start to like, oh, I'm just trying to win you over, they can use this against you. But it's also understanding that like if somebody's feeling down and how to cheer somebody up, which is the good side of that, and then the negative side, somebody will be like, well, when a gas like you do something like malicious or something, they would like, oh, well, I got this for you, or I got this. It is this is dating a toxic person, so you do not want to date somebody who will do this for you, do this to you. So this is a red flag, but it's a question to learn if somebody's feeling down or feeling, you know, sad, how to build them up. But at the same time, be careful with somebody always trying to do that kind of stuff. Like, oh, you're having a bad day, and then we gotta get you ice cream all the time. We'll get you ice cream. Well, oh, I got ice cream for you. How can you didn't do this for me? So be careful of that. This is a question I would prefer somebody ask me that question. Instantly make your day better. Like, instantly just turn my mood around. I don't like, I don't like that question. That question bothers me a little bit. But, I would prefer that I wouldn't like that question on the first date. I prefer that question more like date five. <laughs> That's just my thought process on number 20. <laughs> just because I'm like, hmm, hmm. And maybe that's just me being like at the date and it's like, seeing toxic dating and stuff like that, maybe like kind of wonder like, what you up to? That's probably one of my traits. Do you have any pet peeves? Number 21. Once again, it's like one of those questions when somebody's asking you, just like trying to avoid something like, oh, my pet peeve is this. I'm like, okay, well, I know not to do that around you. Like my pet peeve is, what is my pet peeve? Let me just make up one. Singing in a car, which the song's blasting. Adele Hello's coming on. I'm about to sing Adele Hello. But singing in a car, I'm like, well, I'm out. Like, that's that's pet peeve. Singing in a car. I feel like somebody would try to use that. That's one of the questions somebody would ask to try to, like, get into your skin in the future. I don't know. I don't like that question. I think that's a bad question to ask as well. But then again, you want somebody who's like, oh, no, this is the thing that kind of, like, set me off. Please don't, you know, do these things. Somebody knows of those landmines and want to avoid those. I it's a, it's one of those questions, good or bad, because somebody can do that. If they somebody will make you mad, they can go ahead and use that against you. But if they're like, oh no, I don't want to upset you, I won't do that. But that's just a communication though. Versus like walking around egg cells on somebody. Which meal is your favorite? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Another fun question to ask somebody. Mine is breakfast. I love a good meal in the morning. So that's probably a medium question. 23, what song always gets you out on the dance floor? This is another fun one to ask somebody like, we, okay, party, club, bar, wedding, song is playing, what's gonna get you on the dance floor? I hear Uptown Funk, I'm out there. Bruno Mars, get me out there. I think that's a good one to ask somebody. 24, when you were a kid, did you eat the crust on your sandwich or not? Just another fun question to ask somebody, just icebreaker. And number 25, what activity instantly calms you? Another question to ask somebody, like, just like if somebody's in the phone, like, what activity instantly calms you? Kind of like understand, like, oh, okay, well, somebody's upset, like, hey, let's go bowling, let's go work out, let's go do this, let's go do that. Kind of just how to cheer somebody up. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a, a question that has, that can be flipped around and flipped against you, to be honest. I think that's a question that actually would be, you know, Somebody who's have your best interests at heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're upset. You're in the phone. Hey, let's play a video game or two. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's let's have fun. Let's you no. Know, let's let's kick it a little bit. Like after somebody like get through their stuff. Like I call the 24 hour rule. If you're 24 hour rule, you're upset about something. You get 24 hours to process it. At 24 hours, you either can sit in it and complain about it, which nothing changes, or give it move on and try to make life better and grow from it and learn from it. What could be what can be gained from this situation? And somebody's one there to like kind of help you guide through that, I think that'd be a cool one to do. 
that was just 25 of the questions on here there is 250 questions that um, if you guys like this episode i might go back through it and kind of like go go at each question and see you know go through the other questions the other 250 if you like or i guess 225 if you like this you like this episode so if you do please put in the comments below about like oh yeah i like that can you go back through more questions some of these questions are good to ask some of these questions i'm kind of like iffy on but as far as like breakers on a date to get to know somebody these are some good questions to ask i think one of my favorite questions is to ask them like how would you like to spend your day off if all your bills and everything was covered you had no responsibility you just had a day off to kick it relax and do something you want to do how you spend it what you like to do i think it's a good question to ask you to get learn what somebody's into how they like to spend time their free time without any responsibilities i think it's another great one another one to ask somebody i like asking is if you have unlimited money for a whole weekend you can invest it in bills you can't invest it in um like paying off any bills or anything like that you can't put the money away for safety like you had to spend the money on like just things that like once what are you doing you got four day weekend everything's covered you have to worry about nothing what are you doing with the limited amount of money for the next four days and as a question i like to ask people and see what they're what they would do because it also give you an idea of how they like to spend their time with their friends how they like to go out and do things what they like to do explore so it's not a good question i like to ask people but yeah these are the 25 questions from this women's health episode or women's health magazine if you want more episodes like this with questions breakdowns of questions and good or bad or medium let me know please put in the comments below i already said it before but let me know and you have a question for me to answer on the podcast on this show, please. I'm willing to answer for you. It's send your question to alizaka nerdy dating at gmail.com. It's alizaka nerdy dating at gmail.com. And I am willing to answer the question on the podcast slash YouTube show here. Other than that, thank you for watching this episode. I really appreciate you and keep being awesome. Thank you for watching this episode of Nerdy Dating. I really appreciate it. If there is another episode you want to watch, you can look at it right there. If you want to subscribe to the page and watch more content, it's down here. Also, you have a question about dating, you want to put it in the comment section, go ahead and do it. Or you can send me a dating question to my email alizakanerdydating at gmail.com. That's alizakanerdydating at gmail.com. And I will answer your question on the next episode of Nerdy Dating. Thank you so much for watching the show. I appreciate you and keep being awesome.